Okay, so let's start. Okay, so today, uh, now we have uh, developed our concept of like pathogens and the associated diseases. Yesterday, I have uh, given you a very brief concept of what is blood and what are the components of the blood. So blood is basically a connective tissue and it is uh, like why we are saying it a tissue because uh, it it is more than like one cell. So blood, if we talk about the blood, so blood is a connective tissue. Okay, because it is connecting or it contains or it, it has, it has suspended like so many of the uh, cells. So if we recall that what were the things that were uh, present in the blood, so we have like serum or plasma, then we have red blood cells. Then we have WBCs, then we have platelets, and we have so many things like uh, nutrients, uh, excretory products, then hormones, then vitamins, then um, antibodies, and so on. Each and everything like uh, that is uh, in our body that is present in the serum or plasma. So now defense uh, now we have discussed that like the, uh, what are the pathogens okay the categories of the pathogens according to the like every um, phylum okay like from the prokaryotes from protista then fungi now what like how the we are blessed or the individual organisms are blessed like how their body protects them against those pathogens okay we have discussed the pathogens and its associated uh, diseases that how they are causing but first let's uh, like if 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 i'm getting ill or sick or if humans are getting sick or if animals even are getting sick so like how their body is playing a role in order to defend themselves against those pathogens so uh, the defense of our, our today's topic is the defense against diseases. Okay, so we have different lines of defenses. Okay, we have different kinds of barriers. Okay, uh, you, you must know what is the barrier. So we have two kinds of uh, barriers, uh, two categories. One is the chemical barrier. And other one is the mechanical barrier. And the third thing, which is also a barrier, but uh, it is not like uh, any chemical thing or any physical thing, okay? So it's, it is something other, but it also plays a role in the defense. So that are cells. So if we talk about the uh, barriers of the chemical barriers, so uh, what are those? Like if I ask you that if we start from the uh, mouth and if uh, we are going uh, through the mouth, so the way very first, the barriers, what we have, Like, uh, first of all, you must know that what are the roots of entry of the pathogens. So, a, uh, a pathogen, roots of entry. So, what can be the possible roots of entry? Nasal passage, like from nose or nostrils, it can enter in our body. They can enter from mouth. They can enter from any cut or wound on a skin. Um, from 
like openings of uh, like um, vaginal openings okay and then we have um, okay so these are certain uh, routes like from where any uh, air air canal air canal and eyes okay so these are some areas possible areas from where any pathogen can make it easy or it, these are the easy routes uh, that any pathogen can enter in the body so if we talk about the nasal mouth um, nasal mouth then vaginal then air and eyes okay so these are lined with lined with a layer of cells okay there are the layer of cells that are known as epithelial cells okay these epithelial cells uh, lines all the internal uh, like li very first lining of a internal thing okay from outside we have a skin and if we like if you uh, hold your cheek okay if you hold your cheek uh, uh, from inside and outside and uh, with your thumb and your first finger so what are the two things that you are feeling at your thumb side you are feeling your outer skin and the inner thing inner lining uh, whatever you are feeling is the lining of the epithelial cells okay so these uh, like so this is the uh, like if we hold our cheek uh, so this is the whole skin like this is the our complete skin and we are covered uh, with with the skin whole uh, in our body so from inside and from outside so if we talk about so if this is the inside thing so we have the layer of epithelial cells here like inside is uh, covered with this and outside layer is covered with the epidermal cells okay so these are epidermal cells and these are epithelial cells so this is the skin like if we talk about so this is the skin so inside is the epithelial lining and outside is the epidermal lining so these all are the uh, mechanical barriers okay like whether it is like the internal lining of the epithelial cells or whether it is the external skin lining so these are the uh, mechanical barrier like they are physically uh, protecting our uh, our body with the uh, pathogens then we have the other thing like if we talk if we go in the uh, like after mouth if we go inside it like if any pathogens make it possible or make any entry like from food for example salmonella typhi is contaminated in the food and it make its entry into the stomach okay so first of all the lining of the stomach internal lining is covered with the epithelial cells okay internal lining of the stomach is covered with the epithelial cells now this uh, the in these cells of a stomach secretes hcl okay whose ph is the 2.0 ph okay so it is highly acidic so this highly acidic uh, ph is very essential because it kills the enzymes it kills the enzymes that are present in the pathogens okay that are the any uh, like uh, the pathogens releases some toxins so if a pathogen pathogen is releasing toxin okay to in order to invade or uh, our cells so pathogen is releasing the toxin and toxins are enzyme in nature 
okay an enzyme on the high ph or very acidic ph they can affect or they can stop working they can be inactive so this hcl like the acidic highly acidic environment is protecting our body from the pathogens that are like that cannot work in this ph okay that their toxins cannot are not effective in this ph so that's why this is the an other physical barrier like presence of the hcl acid now the third thing okay so now these uh, now the remaining opening is the air canal vaginal openings and uh, the nasal passages okay so these areas have these areas nasal passage openings and air canals they have the mucus uh, their epithelial cells also contains the mucus secreting cells okay so they releases the mucus and this mucus has a very um, alkaline ph so any pathogen who is entering through uh, like uh, this passage okay uh, vaginal uh, ph is the acidic okay because vaginal uh, internal lining contains the lactobacilli which is also a bacteria but it is our normal flora so this lactobacilli secretes a certain enzymes which are acidic in nature so this acidic and alkaline and all these different uh, secretions of our body are protecting ourselves against the bacteria or any pathogen who are entering or making it possible to enter through these routes okay if any bacteria is entering from the vagina so the acidic ph due to the presence of the lactobacilli is protecting us from those infections like as i have told you earlier that um, e coli e coli is a normal pathogen of the gut okay and if we are not like uh, washing properly okay after like uh, feces or after like ejection so what will happen that e coli is a flagellated bacteria okay it has the flagella so it can move towards the urethra and it can cause infection uti in the urethra so in order to protect them like the internal environment uh, like there are the cells the mucosal secretions and everything that is protecting ourselves against this bacteria okay this this pathogen then if we talk about the nasal so if the things are going towards the nasal passage if something is making uh, like any um, invader is going or making its roots through nasal passage so in nasal okay if these are the lungs so in this area okay in this trachea or uh, this this area there are some cells which have hair like structures okay so these cells are known as cilia okay and along with this uh, hair like structure there are some other cells which secretes the mucus so what is the what is the important role of this cilia and mucus secreting cells this mucus secreting cells are known as goblet cells and the cilia are behaving as a brush so whenever any pathogen any pathogen 
enter the respiratory tract so these cilia flicker of them outside the nose okay that's why we sneeze okay whenever we are feeling sneezing so the sneezing is due to uh, like if any pathogen or any unwanted uh, thing goes inside our trachea so these ciliatory cells they flicker of them outside of nose okay and if they like if some pathogen like make it possible to enter uh, enter so then the second thing that can protect is these goblet cells they secrete the mucus and this mucus is highly viscous okay this mucus is highly viscous so what will happen that due to is its high viscosity its high thickness and these bacteria got trapped in it okay and they are not further allowed to go inside the lungs to make any further damage so this viscosity helps to trap pathogens clear yes okay so after that like this is the uh, if if any pathogen is making uh, 